Hi everyone, doing a little low qual webcam quality video because I just want to talk some shit <laughs> and kind of discuss something that I've been kind of saying I was going to talk about for a while now. Forgive me, no shirt, just came back from work. But I've been saying I wanted to talk about for a while now, but never really got the chance to talk about. And that is chaos in the 3D world, okay? And the reason that this is coming up for me now is because I've been having a very, very chaotic few days. The interesting thing, though, is I wouldn't say I've been the chaotic person. Um, of course, your world reflects you in many ways. So I'm sure I, am, I can be chaotic in many ways, and I know that. But... What I wanted to talk about is kind of staying above the chaos and how do we kind of kind of stay above the chaos. And I think for me, I don't have all the answers, but one of the first things that helps me is to at least understand the system that I live in or the world that I live in, the universe I live in. So you may have heard me say before in real life or in maybe a prior video that the spiritual realm is very simple, but the 3D world is very complex and chaotic. So what do I mean by that? So the 3D world, right? So, so in spirit, everything is one. Everything is together. Everything is perfect. Everything is divine. Even the mistakes, even the, um, the things that seem horrible, there, there's, there's an acceptance for them. There's a love for them and an understanding that they have had to in. everyone is created beautifully in perfect image and again there's the oneness that connects us the oneness of unconditional love right so that's in spirit but then we get thrown on this planet because we chose to come here and yes we did choose to be here i think firmly um but we come here to this earth plane and we're like what the frick is going on like what the f is going on because everything is so damn crazy right so i'm gonna get a little esoteric here you step back right imagine yourself as a tiny freaking little speck if you look up at the night sky there are dozens of stars and those are mostly just the ones that are dying off right that we can see kind of burning up you are a tiny small little speck of human dust but a speck of human dust that matters and a speck of light on this floating rock in the universe and the thing is is the conditions of earth while they are beautiful they have some of the most beautiful landscapes in the entire universe that's one of the reasons we choose to keep coming back to earth because earth has some of the most beautiful things and being in a human body you get to really experience the 3d beauty you get to experience food okay you get to experience sex you get to experience beautiful vistas right and it's not to say that there are other aren't other places in the universe that are gorgeous i'm sure there's places even more gorgeous than earth but we are drawn to come back to earth i believe because again that that physical experience of sensation and being a human body and um an earthly being helps us in order to learn lessons and to get to know ourselves more as souls and as energies. So problem is, is with all the beauty that exists, there's also all this chaos. The conditions of earth, and this might sound scary or intimidating or sad or pessimistic to some, but no, it's not, to me, I don't really see it as sad. I, th I just see it as the conditions for life. The conditions for life with all the beauty are so that Things cannot be perfect here on earth. No matter how hard we try, no matter how hard, hard we strive, things cannot be perfect on earth. There will always be some sort of um, chaos. And again, I don't say that in a pessimistic way or in a way to seem like life has to be all about struggle. But there will always be something going on here at earth that is on earth that is a little bit chaotic. And helping yourself understand that can save you a lot of of unnecessary, I want to say a heartache, I want to say unnecessary energy really is what it is, right? You only wake up with a certain amount of energy in a day. 
you can only do so much with that energy that you have in a day. Of course, we get energy by eating, by sleeping, taking care of our bodies, exercising as well. But just think of it as you have a limited amount of energy each day as a human body. Yes, we're spiritual beings, all this, but we still got to take care of the physical, the physical human body, because that is the gift that we were given in this life. So let's say you go to work, right? And let's say at work, you're dealing with horrible, let's say you're in the customer service industry. You're dealing with horrible customers, people who are being rude to you all day. It's very easy to get sucked into that and to um, either let that ruin your day, to get nasty, to get involved with that. Same thing as getting involved in an argument with maybe a friend or um, mayhaps someone even on the street. Chaos on the street. It's very easy to slip into that. Um, so I don't blame anyone. I sometimes get caught up in my own little like <laughs> wanting to fight my little ego brain. And again, I don't think fighting is all bad. I think there's some <laughs> valid valid um, arguments that need to be had, that need to be had out and said. But I'm just trying to, to help you understand. There will always be something on earth that is going to nag you because nothing is ever going to per be perfect. You can have everything. The, all we can try to do really is create the most perfect space in our own kind of, and again, I'm a cancer, so maybe this is just my worldview, but create our own perfect world in the reality that we have. So things we can control. What can we control? Decorations on our house. Um, the food that we buy and put into our bodies. Um, pets. You want pets? You don't want pets. Things like that. Um, your relationships is a huge thing we have control over. But we don't often think we do. So who are the people in your life, right? Who are the people that surround you? Are they bringing more chaos into your life, right? That's something to consider. You have control of that at the end of the day. What are the, who are the people you're bringing into your life? Whether romantic, uh, platonic, or otherwise, even family. We can only control so much, right? Even with all that control that we have, within our immediate environment, there will always be chaos in the world. There will always be crazy people, so to speak, in the world. So just acknowledging that at least helps me. Now, I don't have all the answers. I don't claim to know the answers or what you should do in any given situation. But I bring this up to say the 3D world is not perfect and it never will be. And the sooner you learn that or you can acknowledge that, the easier life will get. You learn to roll with the, at least I think I've been learning to roll with the punches more so ever when I realize that things aren't perfect. It doesn't, it's not going to stop me from perfection or being complacent, but when I accepted that things will never truly always be perfect, I released a lot of control and a lot of guilt as well. Because also, here's the thing. In my opinion, we're here to experience. We're, we're simply here to experience and I judge my own experience all the time. So I'm not saying that you, I'm not telling you not to, because again, we have these little brains up here, but we're here to experience, right? And oftentimes when we aren't, let's say we feel like we aren't doing enough, it's because we feel like we need to be the ones to save the world. You don't got to save the world, babe. All you got to do is save yourself. It really, truly starts at home. And that's something I'm realizing and trying to work on. Again, not perfect. I'm literally only 21. So I got a lot of growing and a lot of learning to do. But at this stage in my life, what I feel like is really the only one I can save at this point is myself. I'll meet beautiful souls along the way. My friends who I've met along the way are beautiful. And I still do believe another purpose of life is to truly connect with people. But at the same time, I don't need to save people. I don't need to save the world. That guilt that guilt comes because we feel like we have to right but again we got to go back and acknowledge the 3d world is chaotic it always will be there will always be something we will never truly maybe I, I don't think we will ever truly necessarily have world peace um and that might sound pessimistic to some but again i just think that's kind of the conditions of humanity um unfortunately but we agree to be here even through it all so to me, that honestly brings, it sounds pessimistic, it might sound negative, but to me, it brings me solace in knowing that I really just have to do my best to take care of me, to have beautiful experiences with my friends, with my family, and to just be a genuine 
kind, honest person. And again, that doesn't mean no boundaries. We put up the boundaries and we give to who needs, who, not who needs it, but who we want to really and, and who we feel needs it. Um, but yeah, this is just to say things are crazy. They're always going to be crazy. Things are always going to heat up, particularly right now with the end of summer. I don't know why, but it just feels like things are getting crazier. Make sure you're hydrating. Make sure you're taking care of yourself, meditating, yoga, eating. I have to go do that because I have to practice what I preach. I have only had coffee today. Not proud of it. Coffee and water. That's all I had. So I need to go make me a hearty, healthy meal. I'm thinking a tuna sandwich <laughs> for now. Get some protein, some carbs. I'll put some lettuce and tomato on it, a little veg. But I'm rambling now. The point is just tr do your best to stay above it and know that sometimes you aren't the crazy one. Sometimes, seriously, sometimes you are the crazy one and that's okay too. But sometimes you are not the crazy one. We just live on the 3D plane in the earth realm of duality. So I hope that made sense to you. I might go a little bit into more depth on duality. Um, if someone wants me to make a video on that another time, but I feel like I also talk about it in most of my videos. So we'll see, but I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got something out of this and are just taking in this message and encouragement to stay above the chaos. Take care of you, baby. And, um, just love on yourself, love on your friends, love on the people that matter. Love on your animals, eat good food, eat uh, yummy desserts, <laughs> drink water, have good sex, you know, the stuff that matters. <laughs> so I hope this was helpful to you and I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.